So, my child has classes on Schoology. Now what? Let's start by accessing Schoology. We would need to start by typing in milescity.schoology.com. You would then need to sign in with your student's school email address. It's most likely their first initial last name dot student at milescity.k12.mt.us. Since mine is already programmed into my Google, I would click in it. You can do that after you've set it up the first time. And it signed me in because I was already signed into my Google. Now, to make sure you don't have to search for it every time, you would want to click up here where there's a star and add it as a bookmark. You can name it whatever you want. It will probably automatically say Home Schoology. And you can have it add to your bookmarks bar or wherever it is you normally like to keep your bookmarks. So now we're on the home page. It shows recent activity, something from your profile, your student's profile. And over here, we see some upcoming things that the student needs to be aware of. For mine, there are three assignments and their due date, which was be Friday, September 4th. So that gives you a quick glance to see what does my student need to be worried about first. Okay, so now we know that they have this assignment. You have two options to access it. You can click on it directly and it would take you directly to that assignment or when we hover over it, it tells us which class it's for on the tab. This one says language section three. So I could instead go to courses and language section three to access my assignments for that class. And with the courses tab also shows all courses that your student would be enrolled in so that you can see at a glance their various classes and just know what they need to be studying. All right. We've seen our upcoming, we've seen our classes. Now let's go into a class itself. Since we saw that there's a language assignment due coming up, we'll go into language. The home page will have like see week one and there's some different things that we can click on in that folder and see there's a video that the student needs to watch and then an assignment that they need to complete. There's also an updates tab where the instructor would record certain updates for their students. Maybe there's a special thing coming up, a change, and that would take care of that. So I'm going to go actually to a class that I'm a student in to show you from the student point of view. So there's several folders with different assignments that's under our materials. We have updates, but there was none for my instructor. All right, let's look at my grades. This tells me what assignments I've completed and what grade has been assigned for those assignments and my course grade overall so that you can keep track of where your student is at that way. Members, it tells me all the different people that are part of my class. All right, conferences. Let's say my teacher wants to have a live stream class chat where we're all interacting together. They would let us know and it would be here under conferences. So we would see, okay, there would be a conference at a certain time that would end at a certain time. All right, let's go back to assignments because I saw I had an assignment that wasn't done. So I will go to grades to see, and I will click directly on the assignment. All right, so it looks like I have submitted the assignment, but it hasn't been graded yet. But let's say I wanna change what I did. I could click resubmit assignment, or if I hadn't submitted one at all, there's a tab that says Submit Assignment. And that would let me complete what I need to do for that class. Let's go back to the home page, which I would access through the MC. Okay, so let's say that I want to either message my instructor or maybe one of my classmates to ask how to, for a little help on how to do an assignment. I would go up here to our envelope and I can create a new message or see if somebody has already messaged me and read those messages there. 
I have a calendar which would let me look at the whole month and see what's coming up, what I have to worry about, or I could just focus on just this week or even just this day. What do I need to be dealing with? What do I need to worry about? Okay, let's say I have something here by the bell. Look, I had a grade posted for an assignment. Or maybe there's a thing that the teacher sent the assignment back for edits. It would pop up right here in our notifications. So I know that I'm a parent and as a parent there might be times when I really do not want to get 9 million emails every day. You would go to over here where your student's name is and then the settings and you have your account settings but then you have your notifications. So you can say I want it to let me know when something's changed by email and text or maybe not. And so you can go through and set each of these based on how often you want to receive notifications about your student's class. Then, uh-oh, my student accidentally sent their assignment to the recycle bin instead of submitting it. Well, as you can see, it is right here. They can go into the recycle bin and unrecycle it so they can still get that class back. So that's the main part of how to access Schoology. But let's say for some of those older kids, they don't like the generic profile picture. They want to update their profile. So they would come up here and click their name and then your profile and it lets them edit their picture. They can have a blog where they keep track of things. They can even record their blog. So for example, let's say they wanted to create a new blog. They could title it, they could type it, or with this lovely microphone, they could do an audio or an audio and video recording for their blog. Let's say they, their teacher or themselves want to keep track of some of their most amazing assignments as they're going through this year, because we all know they are rock stars and they work so hard. They can create a portfolio where they would store some of their best work or even some of the work that they feel that they had to work the hardest on and they could store those things here. There's also under this info let's say you really don't want your phone number being on their Schoology page. That's okay. You don't have to put that information in here. You can edit those things. You go right up here to this edit button and you can change what contact information is on there. You can change what information that maybe you don't want your child's birthday on this. It doesn't have to be. You can save some of those things and change some of those things. And then we go back to home and there we are. I hope that this has put your mind at ease with some of the things that have to do with Schoology. And if you have further questions, at the very end of the video, there will be a way that you can reach out and ask further questions about Schoology. Here's to a great year, and I hope everyone is excited to learn and grow this year. Thank you.